this is Scrotitis, and this is something different. You're probably uh, not used to seeing this title screen, that's for sure. This is Don't Starve. Uh, I wanted to highlight this game just because I've really been enjoying uh, playing it, the game style, and, and everything that it brings. It's a survival game. Uh, there are some similarities to Minecraft, but in other ways, it's totally different. Um, I'm, I'm far from an expert. I've probably only been playing this a couple of weeks. But I wanted to share the gameplay and style with you guys and uh, urge you to check it out. It's on Steam for, I think, $14.99 right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to pick a new game. And let's just show the characters. Uh, by default, you start with Wilson, and that's who we're going to be playing. Uh, the Gentleman Scientist. I will conquer all with the power of my mind. He grows a magnificent beard, and hopefully will stay alive long enough and not starve to be able to show that. Uh, we have then also unlocked the fire starter, Willow. Uh, things are pretty much are so much prettier when they burn. She's immune to fire and starts fires in the dark. So that's a fun bonus. This fella we don't have yet. We also unlocked the strong man, Wolfgang. He's got higher health and a bigger stomach, and he hits harder. I've actually done a playthrough with him, and I found that that bigger stomach really uh, drug me down. As you can see, there's a bunch of other characters that we still need to unlock. But let's go ahead and jump right in to our new game with Wilson. Okay, so every time you play, it's a customized world generated completely new. Um, every time the new game is started, a new world is created. There we go. We get it. We'll spit it out. So uh, let's see what kind of deal we've got here. Now you can control the player by clicking on a spot with the mouse or uh, WASD. That little intro. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before the night comes. I don't know why that guy, I think he should talk like a 20s gangster. But here's Wilson and here's our starting spot. Now up in the right hand corner, you'll see our clock that says day one. Then we've got three little gauges. We've got our stomach gauge, which is our hunger. We've got our brain gauge, which is our sanity. And we've got our heart, which is our health. Okay. Now we want to make sure and try to manage all three of those things to make sure that we don't uh, starve, we don't die, and that we uh, stay sane. Uh, one of the main things about sanity is that the hallucinations you have can kill you. So that's kind of cool. So right now, um, I'm doing one of the basic functions in the game, which is gathering. Alright, you're going to see a lot of this. Now you see I'm picking up flowers, grass, there's a carrot. We got seeds, saplings, more grass. Um, let's talk about order of importance here. We need food right off the bat. We need flint and saplings right off the bat, along with gas. Or gas, grass. Um, main reason for that here, let's show you real quick. Our first craftable item, we're going to make an axe out of twigs and flint. And we're going to chop down this tree. Now, this is a little tree, but it's still going to yield us... Well, it got us one log. Not, not, not great. Um, let's do a bit of exploring, and as we go, we're going to pick up items. Now, back to the controls. Right before the intro, I started talking about how you control Wilson or any of the other playable characters. And you do so with either uh, the WASD controls to move around, and then uh, you can use spacebar when you're close to something to interact with it. Like this tree, we want to chop it. I'm holding down spacebar, and he's chopping down the tree. Okay? Similar to Minecraft, the uh, tools that you make, uh, they do uh, wear and uh, will break eventually after enough use. So as you can see, our axe right now is at 80. Each chop takes it down a percentage. And then we broke the tree. If we hold down space bar after we chop it down, we can pick up all the items that are left around. So that's kind of kind of cool. Now, oh, we actually have a really nice starting area here. We're going to grab as much of this grass as possible. These grassy areas are usually pretty good for the uh, little rabbit fella right here. You see the attack icon? There's usually a lot of rabbit holes in these areas. But uh, you see these big rocks up here, these boulders? This is going to be our next big, uh, our next build. We're going to make a 
pickaxe. It's similar to a, uh, a regular axe, but requires one more flint. And we're going to mine this rock. Now, what I've found so far, there's two different kinds of rocks. There are uh, these standard looking ones, and then there's these ones with this sort of uh, veins running through them. The ones with the veins tend to yield gold nuggets, which are very important for the very beginning of the game, at least, because we're, we can make our science machine uh, with with those gold nuggets. So, like I said, it's very important uh, in keeping our sanity and also then allowing us to to learn and expand what we're actually able to craft, which is kind of cool. Right now, if you look at the left bar over here, the, you, we have tools, light, survival, science, and fight. We don't have a whole lot else. Once we learn, um, we'll have a whole bunch more. Uh-oh, it's getting late. I need to make a fire. Now you'll see there's this red section. This is what we just entered into on the clock. Now we've still got time before anything really bad happens. We haven't had the best foraging start yet. We need to worry about getting some more food. Our, our health, or our, our, our uh, stomach, or our, our, our food gauge, I guess, is getting, is dropping down. So we haven't really found a lot of good food. We got a couple carrots, uh, berries, but that's about it. Nothing real great. I'm going to go ahead and collect stuff until it gets really dark. That's when things get dangerous. That's when things come out and go thump in the night. Uh, another key... Oh, talking about controls. Tab. Brings up your mini-map. Now, don't hold it because I did that and you get this crazy flicker. You just want to hit it once. Brings up your map. You can check out your surroundings. Unhit it again. And then continue exploring. Um, I'm going to check out this wooded area here and see if we can find... Oh, it's actually a lot smaller. We need food. Ooh. Graveyard with some gold nuggets in it. I don't think we want to be in the graveyard at night, though. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll continue right on past here. Not a lot of food. Hmm. Yes, we need rocks. little oh my first playthrough I thought that if I went up to <laughs> one of those <laughs> one of these uh, beehives that I would be able to get honey out to eat and instead I attacked it and I was swarmed by bees just a note for you guys don't do it you're gonna die all right we're close enough we've tempted fate long enough we've got three different kind of fires we're just gonna build a campfire which is our first light option there's also a fire pit uh, which this is going to be for our more, uh, sa our safer base or our more standard base. Or, I'm sorry, more permanent base. We're going to go with the fire pit. And then the bottom one is a torch. And actually, I'm going to craft one of those. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to show you in the morning what we can use those torches for. Now, they're a portable light source, which is nice. But we could also they also have another function, which is, is really cool. So let's go ahead and survive. Let's make a couple of these things. Got a trap here. I want to see... Hmm. I haven't tried this yet. Out of curiosity, I want to see if this will work. Let's drop these seeds right here. And let's put a trap right next to it and see if we can lure something into it. I don't know if it works that way. Um, I think it, it's a neat idea, though. So let's go ahead and set it right there, right on top of the seeds. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're going to hang out over here. Now, as you see at night, our sanity drops as well. Well, our hunger. Let's take care of our hunger first. You can eat these green items, or if you want, you can cook them. And now they're roasted berries, and I believe they refill more health when they're cooked. So let's go ahead and cook a couple carrots. And we've got roasted carrots. Delish. So we'll eat two of those, and we'll save another snack here. Uh, petals I've found boost your... Oh, you know what? That campfire is getting awfully low. Add a little bit of fuel to it. We're going to have to do some mad grass collecting in this next morning. Uh, pine cones. Actually, pine cones are fuel. I should have used that. And we are really close here, I think. I don't want to jinx it yet. Let's wait for it, guys. 
Do we do it? Wait for it. We did it! We survived our first night, guys. That's pretty exciting. Alright, so we're about 10 minutes into this playthrough. We made it for, through our first night. Let's get some serious foraging on, alright? We may come back and visit this area. But for the time being... Oh, you know what? Let me show you what the torch does, alright? So we've got it... Oh, oh, no, we don't have it equipped. We've got it equipped, and as you can see, it gives us a light, a portable light source as we move around. But if you go up and you light a tree... And actually, let's light a couple trees. I don't want to catch myself on fire, because that can't happen. Not the berry bush. Oh, I caught the berry bush on fire. I should have known better. We'll do this one, too. Alright. Let's get our axe equipped. This is something that I did not know about, but look at that charcoal. That burns much better in fires. Oh, did we roast something? We got a morsel. I wonder if there was a turkey hiding in the tree. Uh, that would have been very fortunate, actually. And we're also going to pick up these ashes. Um, get these seeds. The rest of our charcoal. Oh, we can't carry any more stuff. That's unfortunate. What should we drop here, guys? Charcoal. Guess we'll drop the pine cones for now. Let's chop that down. Charcoal. Chop this down. Charcoal. And let's get on our merry way here. We need to find grass because there's a lot of early recipes that, that require grass. So. I want to keep moving forward. I don't want to go backwards. Let's keep going north until we hit the coast. I think that, that we've actually gone as far as we can this way. Uh, and not promising up here. These are some big trees. Though. Let's take one of these guys down with us. Not a lot of food up here. This is kind of discouraging. One thing nice, we could be green here. Kill the tree, we can plant it back in the ground. Can we get it? Can we get it? No. I found that those rabbits are way too quick to kill. I don't know if you waste energy or health or anything by chasing them, so I choose not to. I advise the same. Now, those traps that we made are really good. You'll find, uh, if you plant them properly near um, this. This was where we set things up originally. I wonder if I should uh, if I should take that trap with us. Is there anything else we can drop? You know what? Let's eat these flower petals. They don't really do much anyway. We'll pick up our trap then. And yeah, let's head to the east. I don't know if it's actually east. Um, if there's a north-south uh, east-west sort of direction in this game. We want these berries. Let's eat the seeds real quick. Take these berries. If we have a shovel, I don't think we can make a shovel yet. No. Uh, our next base, hopefully we can find some place that is... Um, has a good surrounding. We can try to make a permanent base somewhere. Um, if you have a shovel, you can uh, pick up these... Uh, you can uproot plants and, and replant them. So if you find berry bushes like that, I believe they'll grow berries back. Actually, I had a pretty nice base set up with uh, the strongman on my playthrough with him. And uh, did something silly and ended up dying. But I had replanted probably about eight or nine of those uh, berry bushes at my base. You know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we should head to one of those areas where there's a lot of the rabbit holes and try to build a base camp near one of those. So let's go ahead and explore until we find one of those areas and we may end up actually going back down to where we started. Uh, there were about three or four of those there, I believe. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we just made a full circle. Uh, not a lot of good stuff up to the north though. So I think that's probably a sign that says go south. 
We've got a graveyard. Let's see. One of the other neat things about this game is the interaction that Wilson has with random things in the environment. I bet there's, a lot, there's all sorts of good stuff down there. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> Examine grave. Yeah. I wonder if there's any way you can jump down them. That's kind of kind of creepy, but kind of cool all in, the, all in the same breath. All right. So day two here. We're getting close to an end here. And, uh, that's sort of a peninsula. Let's, let's keep going south, and then we'll make a base camp and try to build a base around it. Uh, and see what we can do from there. All right, so we've made a full loop here almost. Seeds, ah, oh, we don't have room for seeds, too. Seeds are important also because, you know what, let's eat this morsel. Take these seeds. We're getting close to nighttime. I'm getting I'm really low on food. This isn't real good, guys. So I don't know how long this playthrough is gonna last. Um okay, here, perfect. You know what? Let's go over to the coast. This is kind of where we started. I like to, as a rule, build my base with a coast here and sort of defend that way then because I have I actually haven't made it long enough, but I have heard that uh nasties come to get you at night. So uh, I think that's going to be our game plan. We're going to do a base right here. And right before it gets too dark, let's go ahead and build a fire pit, okay? And we're going to put our fire pit right... You know what? Let's do it right there. It's like a nice spot. Congratulations, we have a fire pit. Let's put some ashes. No, nope, that doesn't do anything. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got to do? We want to make our science machine. Actually, we need to eat. We need to eat a lot. Let's roast up our berries. Eat our berries up. Oh, that was good. 102. Yum, yum. Roasted berries. We're going to keep these seeds in hopes that we find some manure. And we're going to make our science machine. We've got uh, gold, logs, and rocks. So let's build it. And we're going to put it right back here. Ta-da! Now you see we have that, and all of a sudden we've got all these more, all these options now. All these things have filled in for us to be able to create and build and explore. It's it's awesome. Um, let's throw some twigs on here. Keep our fire going. Come over here, and you know what, guys? It's almost the end of the night, but I'm going to go ahead and call this our first episode. Don't starve. What do you guys think of it? Um, I'm a pretty big fan of it myself. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Uh, like if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, because if you do, I, I think I'm going to try to extend the series. Like I said, I'm a big fan of this game. I think it, er, it deserves some publicity. And uh, let's just get the word out and share it with everybody, all right? So that's going to do it, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will check you guys all in the next episode of Don't Start. We'll see you.